While spreading the message of self-love and body liberation, Lizzo has sold millions of records and has received three Grammy Awards. And when she wasn't entertaining us with her flute and her catchy songs, she was more than content rolling solo dolo. Until recently. The multi-talented entertainer has embarked on a new romance, and we have all of the juicy details about her dating history, her love interest, and the real reason she doesn't have any rules in her relationship. Before we jump into today's video, be sure to grab something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of turkey, beef and bacon jerky, cinnamon toast crunch popcorn, and butter toffee peanuts. To give you some insight into Lizzo's dating history, we have to take you back to her late teens and early 20s. She was in a relationship with a guy who would always complain about her weight. Lizzo told Rolling Stone that he would constantly tell her, I'm a little guy, I need a little girl. To make herself more appealing to him, she said that she tried to mimic actress Zoe Deschanel. But eventually, she gave up once she realized she couldn't imitate a white woman. During an interview with Way Conversations, Lizzo shared how she had unrealistic and unhealthy expectations for her body. She said, every black woman I saw was really light-skinned or had straight blonde hair, so I was like, wow, that's beautiful. I want to look like that. Lizzo said she would look in the mirror and she saw how far she was from the image that she admired. It got to the point where she decided she didn't even want to be herself anymore. She wanted to be someone else. During another period of her life, she didn't have any money, so she wasn't eating, and she lost a lot of weight. While hanging out with a guy, he told her that he showed her picture to his friends, and they told him her face was great, but her body needed some work. Lizzo was crushed because, at that point, she was the smallest she had ever been in her life, but she still wasn't good enough in his eyes. Eventually, that situation ended, and Lizzo decided to work on her self-esteem. This was also the start of her journey to self-love. But as she entered her late 20s, she was greeted by more heartache. She was involved in an on-again, off-again relationship that wasn't going anywhere, so music became the way for her to channel her frustrations. After releasing two albums, she signed with Nice Life Recording Company under Atlantic Records. In 2016, she was hired to work on MTV's show Wonderland, and her co-host was a man named Mike Wright. Together, they interviewed celebrities and hosted performances from stars like the late Mac Miller, Blink-182, and Kalani. In 2017, Lizzo returned to the studio to work with producer Ricky Reed. She opened up to him about another situation she was dealing with that involved her boyfriend dumping her for his ex. As she poured out her heart in the studio, Ricky took notes. Lizzo entered the booth and began creating a masterpiece that we now know today as the song Truth Hurts, which was released in 2017. But the song struggled to gain traction, and it didn't hit the Hot 100 chart until two years later when it appeared in the Netflix film Someone Great. Not only did the song help her garner millions of fans worldwide, but Lizzo got her confidence back as well and has openly flirted with several celebrities, including Chris Evans and Trevor Noah. During a June 2018 interview with Teen Vogue, she alluded to being a part of the LGBTQ community. She stated, When it comes to sexuality or gender, I personally don't ascribe to just one thing. She later clarified her statement by telling Variety.com that she leans heterosexual. However, she thinks it's, quote, unfair to the human existence to limit the spectrum of what you're capable of sexually. By July 2019, Lizzo was embracing being unattached more than ever. She told People magazine she was content with being her own soulmate and she was focusing on herself and her career. But she added that even if she were in a relationship, she's such a single-minded person that she would still expect a lot of freedom. She said, I think there's a lot of people that need to be in relationships and need to be in love. I want it sometimes, but I don't need it. But if the right D comes along, she did admit that she was getting a lot of attention from men, and her DMs were popping. But the things that those men were offering her weren't enough. She told ET Online she found it difficult to trust a lot of people because she wasn't sure if they genuinely liked her or if they were clout chasers. 
things changed for her in 2022, and she finally allowed love into her life. She showed a glimpse of her new man on her social media account during a vacation. But they didn't make their public debut until Valentine's Day when they stepped out for a date night. Her mysterious boo was eventually identified as her Wonderland co-host, Mike Wright. She confirmed her relationship status during an April 2022 interview with Andy Cohen and said her new boyfriend was very supportive. Two months later, she and Mike made their relationship Instagram official. So aside from being her old work buddy, who is Mike Wright? Well, Mike grew up on the west side of Detroit. After graduating from art school, he began working as a designer for a Detroit-based luxury clothing brand. He moved to Los Angeles in 2012 and founded his own design and innovation company called Umi. In addition to that, he's an actor and had small roles on shows like Breaking and Entering and How to Be a Grown-Up. One thing they have in common is their love for music. Mike told Voyage LA website that he was once in a band called The Grey Level, and later he started a hip-hop group called Fresh Air. He's also known for his work as a stand-up comic. In other words, he has his own thing going on, and because Lizzo knew him before she became famous, she doesn't question his intentions. She told The Breakfast Club, We were friends. It hits different when they knew you before 2019. As the months passed by, Lizzo opened up even more about her new romance, including during a July 2022 interview with The Breakfast Club. Lizzo told the radio hosts that traditional relationships scare her. She added, Monogamy, I think, to me, is a little claustrophobic. I think because there's the rules. I think a love relationship that's not monogamous has no rules. Lizzo revealed that she doesn't want any rules regarding her relationships, and her romance with Mike doesn't have any expectations. But she was adamant that she's not out and about hooking up with other people, and neither is Mike. Let us know your thoughts on Lizzo's new romance, and thanks for watching RRG.